We're in the FT's offices in the House of Commons and at about 2.35 this afternoon these events happened where an individual described subsequently as of Asian origin and middle-aged, he drove a 4x4 vehicle over a pavement coming across Westminster Bridge back there, ploughing into eight or ten individuals, uh, of which some have been catastrophically injured. One woman is already dead, according to doctors at St Thomas' Hospital. Uh, the man in question apparently then crashed his vehicle into the gates of Parliament. He got out of his vehicle and he walked around the corner to the entrance of Parliament where there were three police officers. Two of them went off to get help. Uh, the remaining officer was stabbed uh, by the attacker who was carrying two large knives said to be seven or eight inches long. And soon afterwards, three shots rang out. Uh, the police shot this man to the ground. Um, we could see through the windows and the officers over there, two people lying on the ground. One of them uh, presumed to be the police officer, one of them the assailant. Um, Subsequently, it's, it's been very chaotic. The House of Commons has been in lockdown for several hours. The Prime Minister was removed from the Commons just as she was voting by plainclothes officers, and she was taken out of the House of Lords exit and carried away in a silver Jaguar. Other MPs have been stuck in various offices in Portcullis House, which is the offices above Westminster Tube. Some of them have been stuck in the House of Commons. And today is PMQs, which is a day where there are a lot of visitors who come to Westminster. And out there you can hear the sound of children, there are large school groups out there, and other visitors, bishops, wandering around. The whole place uh, is in chaos, but obviously there's always quite a heavy security presence here. That security presence has been magnified uh, many times over this afternoon.